Please start engine, press enter to continue. Well, the engine is already running. It's putting a load on the charging system. Welcome back to Little Method Classic, and we're here with another cool product from Top 10. If you remember in the summer, they sent me this thing, their jump search, which was great because I was just looking to buy some sort of jump pack when I was going to go on my long road trip. And they reached out to me, sent this, and you know what? I've used this thing a lot, not only as a jump pack, which I've used especially on this car behind me over here. We'll get to that in a little bit. But it also is a great power bank because sometimes I'm on the road and filming and um, uh, some of my classics, the uh, 12 volt outlet doesn't always work. So having a power bank with me is great. And it's uh, saved me a couple times with dead batteries, uh, especially when I have to move around some customer cars and uh, you know, have a certain amount of time, I need to move them, I need them to start now, I can't really wait for a battery charger, and this is great. So they reached out to me uh, about a month ago and asked me if I want to try one of their other products, a battery tester, and I was all for that because I have a lot of vehicles and a lot of customer vehicles and I want to be able to test their batteries. I've had a simpler one before, but this one has a lot more features and it can also print out. Let's open this thing up. I haven't really had a look inside, just I opened up to make sure it was in there. But like their other product, it comes in a really nice case, which is great when you um, yeah, want to put it away somewhere. I think it's just nice to have in a case and not have to just lay around and collect dust, especially in a workshop environment. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, there we go. As you know, I hardly ever really do any product reviews on here because often um, if it's something I'm not going to use, then I would I don't want it. But so far, whatever they've sent to me is things that I really, really want to use. And I could use especially the printer function on here, um, being able to, then to prove to customers, you know, that they have a bad battery or that their battery is good and just be able to print that out. Let's get this all out of here. So here is the device. Looks like there's already some printer paper in there. Here is some spare rolls. And I'm gonna go read the instructions a bit, figure out how this works, and then we'll test this battery. So I changed the plan. I grabbed this battery instead because the other one, the owner has removed the stickers, which some people like to do when you put a modern battery in a classic car. But that means I can't really test it because I don't know the how powerful the battery is. You gotta be able to read that on the tag. So we'll get to that in a little bit, but let's connect this thing up. Clamps are very, very nice. And we're greeted with a display here. It's protect, I'm gonna keep the protective plastic on there. And you have several tests. You have a battery test, a cranking test, and a charging test. Draw really, really good so you can test your cranking. Um, so basically how low your battery goes while you are cranking. You can test charging, how the charging system works. And But we'll do a battery test. You can test you know, regular flooded, AGMs, gels, everything. This is a regular flooded. And here is the standard of how it is measured. This one is 830 amps EN. So we're going to go down to EN. It's a really nice clear display. Get this thing up to 830. Don't actually know how this battery is. Now it's testing. Ooh, replace. Health 56%, charge 100%. Yeah. Well, it makes sense. This car did stand around for a long time, and then we got it, and now it's been sitting for another bunch of years. So, um, yeah, I think when this might be good enough just to fire the thing up, but uh, probably not good enough to run it, because uh, modern cars with a lot of electronics, especially in the early 2000s, they need good batteries. But at least we know that. And now we can print. That's really cool. So it tells me that's printed and everything. It tells me the charge was 100%, voltage was 12.89, uh, health 56%. It measured up to 620 amperes. It's supposed to be 830. 
an internal resistance is 4.48 mega ohms. So that's really good. You can you know, write the date on there, stick that on that battery. If you have spare batteries on the shelf, you can know if they're good or not. This would be a great thing as well to bring to um, like junkyards. At least my local junkyard, you can usually buy used batteries there. And then you can bring this along and actually know if it's good. Because it's usually a really good deal. Like a big battery like this would be like 30 bucks or something. And a regular car battery, like 20 bucks. So if you can you know, prove that it's a pretty good battery, then that would be worth it. But I think I will go outside and we'll go to my winter beater and we'll connect this thing up and we will try the cranking test. This is my winter beater. It's a 1996 Saab 900 with a lot of miles on it. And I actually don't know anything about this battery. It came with it when I bought the car. I mean, it was a $500 beater and it still cranks over the car fine. So it's going to be interesting to see how good this battery actually is because I've never... Uh, Notice that this thing wouldn't want to start even after sitting for a long time. It's 540 amps EN as well. And we'll connect up the positive clampage. Let's see if we can get a good connection on here. There's a little bit of oxidation. Like I said, these clamps are really nice. I wish, I wish the clamps on my battery charger were that good. Top down, 12.5 volts. Battery test, regular flooded. Ooh, it remembers EN. Cool, and it remembers from the last test. That's really nice. Oh, passed it. 540. I'm not expecting this thing to be great because just look at it. That battery is probably really old. But you never know. Yep, 54% health, 92% charge. But maybe it's just good enough for the sob. So that works. But now, I want to go back. Let's do the cranking test. Please start engine. I got 30 seconds to do it. So I'm going to run inside and start it. Okay, so the crank time was 1,036 milliseconds. It went down to 9.93 volts. So crank test was normal. Let's see if we can do the charging test. Please start engine, press enter to continue. Well, the engine is already running. It's putting a load on the charging system. Hear that? I heard the alternator just go down. I mean, load up the engine. That's really cool. Increase engine speed to 2,000 RPMs. Uh, keep it there for five seconds. Press enter to continue. Charging is normal, so cool. Ripple, can you print that out? Ooh, ha, ah, this is fun. So we're good, everything works. Turn this thing off. Just to quickly prove that everything I have is an absolutely ter terrible battery, this is my newest battery, just got it this summer and it still has 94% health, 100% charge. So uh, that's some good news. At least I have one good battery on the fleet. This is definitely a really neat product. Like I've used several battery testers before, but I've never had one that tests all these other things. I think the cranking test is really, really good. And my real favorite is a charging one because I got two cars with a little bit of charging issues and I'm definitely gonna use it. Just having something that can put a load on the charging system and actually monitor it and make sure that the alternator doesn't go too low in voltage and everything. That is really neat. So that's something we're going to use in some future videos on the XJ6, which might have a charging issue, and the XJ12, which I know has a charging issue. 
but really, really great product. There'll be links down below if you want to pick one of these up. Um, I'm really happy with it. And uh, I think that um, I would definitely want to pick something like this up if it hadn't been sent to me because just the charging test is fantastic. And to be able to keep a track of batteries and being able to test junkyard battery because I quite often get junkyard batteries and I'm definitely going to bring this along next time I go. Anyways, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, share it with friends. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Until next time, I'm Adam. This is Limit Classic. I'll see you soon.